is usually impossible for us to dwell in the same house with both evil and good and 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 for us to still have peace and for us to still be happy uh, that unconditional kind of joy and peace and rest and security and confidence and feeling good having a gladness of heart that actually there has to be a conversion that happens when this evil is being thrown at us uh, that god has given us faith essentially to help us to make this conversion to convert evil to good and that that is the only way we can have peace in our members and i want to help you understand that uh, there is a task whenever you see evil or bad come into your life whether it's a loved one that is unwell or um, just the usual uh, evil that happens when we are relating you know betrayal uh, hurt that those things are coming to deliver to us a power if we are able to uh, rise to the occasion of making the conversion and that is exactly what God does uh, in in bringing about goodness and light into the world that when he sent his son his only son that whole process of sending him to the cross and and to the grave and for him to rise back up again that that was actually him trying to convert a whole load of bad evil which is our sin into good uh, jesus christ told us that in this world we will have many troubles but to rejoice because he has overcome the world jesus christ overcame the whole world and if we are in such a situation where we will have many troubles then we have to understand that god cannot leave us to at the mercies of this this uh, trouble and this evil that we are going to experience in the world he gave us this tool of faith uh, facilitated by love facilitated by knowledge and understanding and wisdom to help us to convert the evil that is coming at us into good in the mighty name of jesus christ and that that is the only way number one we can have true peace we can have a uh, true joy and rest and security you know for example when uh, you have a very anta antagonizing um, a scenario playing out in your life momentarily what usually tends to happen is that that negativity tends to seep into us like into our spirit into our soul and you begin to look like it you begin to feel agitated you know your peace is upset um, you feel out of balance right it affects us it begins to affect us um, and um, it is almost like insisting stubbornly insisting that even when bad things are happening you you stubbornly insist because of the faith that you have uh, because we understand uh, the will of God for us how he wants us to behave how he wants us to think how he wants us to see the world uh, because of that understanding and because of that faith and the love that we have for God and for his word we are actually able to insist on goodness even when evil is constantly being thrown at us that we insist it is well it is well it is well it is well we insist it is good it is good it is light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and that is faith right because that is contrary completely contrary to what is happening Con completely opposite to what is being thrown at you and so you can see clearly that we don't dwell in the things that are unfolding in our lives and how they are unfolding in our lives that we don't dwell in this material world this is where our body dwells and where we have influence but the real us the true us we really are seated far above principalities and powers uh, at the right hand side of jesus christ and the father in the mighty name of jesus christ um, and there is also a challenge there is a challenge we are challenged to be lovers of good for us to maintain good to say that even if it's bad that is being served up uh, we insist that it is good we insist that it is well 
we have to be lovers of good rather than the the antagonist for this love of good is actually the ego because the ego wants to fight for its pride the ego wants to fight for what it owns the ego wants to fight for what it likes what it prefers what it desires what it needs right but good that love of good which is essentially the love of god insists on good regardless unconditionally whether i'm getting what i want or need it doesn't matter that what we are primarily seeking to preserve and to promote right is good and not to preserve ourselves it is not self preservation that we are after we are not seeking to preserve this body this flesh to preserve our position in the world to preserve our dignity or respect we are seeking to preserve and to promote good to preserve and to promote love um this is actually an area where presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice comes into play in a big way because if we are uh focused or carried away in uh trying to defend ourselves or trying to fight for ourselves we are not able to make this conversion because we are already busy taking care of our own flesh you know we are trying to keep ourselves from pain or shame or loss right uh for example when you look at a situation where grace or patience Uh, needs to be given to somebody who is um offensive uh in order to win them over or in order to uh bring them to repentance right you have to suffer through that period of waiting for them to turn around because if you choose the path of trying to protect yourself then it means that you terminate that conversion of evil into good and that is where we suffer for Christ for Jesus Christ that is actually the cross that we carry uh, in that waiting out uh, evil for us to win it over with good you know somebody is giving you bad 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 but you're giving back good 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 and that what that means it means is that you have to suffer through the bad that they are giving you because you see you're not protecting yourself um and so there is an element of suffering there which if we're unwilling to suffer in that way if we're unwilling to carry our cross we will not be able to convert evil into good and let me clarify and say that this suffering is actually suffering in the flesh that it is our body like our dignity maybe um our uh, image for example that that is going to have to suffer but we don't allow the suffering to cross over into our spirit where our peace and our joy and our rest dwell in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so you see if if you're trying to preserve the ego you know that image and respect the respect of men you know how people see you or what you like what you need what you want you know your preferences or or even your emotions how you feel or what you think your ideas and opinion you're not able to accommodate certain painful things in your life in order to convert them into good you know you will always find a way to get rid of them or to avoid them and consequently you avoid the suffering of Jesus Christ that uh, leads us to the glory of Jesus Christ the pride of the ego will not allow uh anyone to convert evil to good because the ego is primarily focused on self preservation and self promotion and that is why it has to be put to death for this process of conversion to take place and be successful and so even when it is hate that is being is constantly thrown at us we insist that it is love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and this we do by faith by faith uh uh that is facilitated by what we know about God what he likes what he is about 
and his power, his mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to stand behind our standing here on the earth. That when we stand up against a whole uh, horde or, or crowd of, of evil men or evil uh, and, and we are alone, um, as long as we make that stand of faith, God has enough power to stand behind us and to back us up and to make it so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that is how we make this world a better place. That is how we bring God into the world. This is how we birth the kingdom of God into this world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> that uh, after all the studying the word of God and knowing what it says, studying the Bible, after all the prayer and, and the meditation and the fasting that we have done, that we have to understand the work that goes into converting evil into good. Now that is faith at work. This is us exercising our faith. This, this is us putting our faith to work like a tool, like the way you put a vehicle to work. And there is a lot of uh, peace and joy, like rejoicing to be gained. You know when God says, enter into the joy of the Lord, this is the joy of the Lord. You know, the joy that God rejoices with is because of how he is able to convert uh, darkness into light. And he is a master at it. He is a master at it. Um, and we are meant to take after him, right? Uh, so that when we are seeing things in the world unfold or even in our own life um, we don't have to take that lesser powerless position of fretting and complaining and pointing the finger or even just passivity you know resting and folding your hands and saying there is nothing you can do about it when you understand that you have the power because of the faith that you have and the, be the, be the belief that you have in a all-powerful God, that is power enough for you to move mountains, to say uh, that this situation is like this, but I insist it is like this other way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it will be so when we stand the test of time, because our faith will be tested. 